Hey friends, today we're hanging out with Sherelle and Dan here in Somerset at Friendly Horizons of the Black Hills. So we're gonna talk with these fine folks about what all this place has to offer. So Friendly Horizons started as an idea. We did a lot of research and they found that a lot of families don't like large places when it comes to memory care. They just really wanted something more intimate and small. And the number one thing I heard was my, my mom or dad or brother or sister, they're just gonna get lost in this place and I don't wanna be here. So we created this small standalone facility with only 16 beds to accomplish that goal, to, to meet that need. And so we started with a Sioux Center facility, Sioux Center, Iowa, that opened in April of 2020. And then we began research out here and we found that Somerset was probably the best place to go. Rapid City is a very saturated market. Spearfish is another saturated market. And so we came to the middle. So we came to Somerset so we could kind of touch all of that. Um, we get people in here all the way as far south as Custer. And then we've had families in here all the way from Wyoming. Friendly Horizons was created as a standalone Alzheimer's and dementia care facility only. All we focus on is, is that. That's what we specialize in. It's because it's such a unique program that it needs to be all that my focus is. With only 16 beds, it's designed that I can slow down the caregivers. We can really meet our residents where they are and we can approach them more relationally as opposed to task-based. And it doesn't overwhelm the caregivers. They can take their time. They can really approach them with dignity and respect and in a relational way so that they can talk them through what they need to get done. And with that, we see far better acceptance and participation in everything that we need them to do. We focus very heavily on family involvement, not only just from a transparency aspect, but just for peace of mind. You know, I'm asking someone to bring their, one of their most cherished possessions, their people, their loved ones, their families, and ask total strangers to take care of them. And so for me, that's a very big responsibility and I want families to know that that's the right choice and they made the best choice. So we do that through transparency and we focus on families just as much as we focus on our residents. Being the life enrichment director just kind of seems like, you know, it's an easy job and they do this, but what I really try to focus on is the individual and what they want to do, who they used to be, what they're interested in, and not just kind of a cookie cutter system. I try to get to know all of them on a very intimate basis because that's what our philosophy is all about. And so what brings me joy at the end of the day is knowing that I gave them the most fulfilling day to keep them active and just to keep them in good spirits and knowing that you know, this is our last journey, but it's also beautiful in that same sense. Friendly Horizons of the Black Hills is a locally family owned and operated facility and the community acceptance and the community involvement and just everything about the startup of this building has really just been fantastic. To help try to meet the needs more so than what we can right now, we're looking to expand this facility a little bit just to kind of open it up a little bit more to meet that demand because there's a lot more demand out there. People can find Friendly Horizons at www.friendlyhorizons.org. That actually has both of the locations on there, whether they're in you know, Sioux Center, Iowa, or they're in the Black Hills and Somerset in this area. And we also do have a Facebook page that I post on very frequently, Friendly Horizons of the Black Hills, with the little picture that says, Happy Fall, y'all.